According to this 2022 New York Times article, most app-based food delivery drivers are making roughly $14 an hour. After taxes, gas, and car maintenance, they're making close to $11 an hour, and some even as low as $4 an hour without tips. What if I told you you could be making over $2,500 a week as a medical courier? Welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph and I talk about personal finance. So if that's something that you're interested in, please give this video a like and subscribe. So there are a bunch of different companies offering courier work, but the one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be Dropoff. Now, Dropoff is a platform that connects you with local medical facilities like Quest Labs and LabCorp. These are some great companies that will pay you top dollar just to transport specimens from facility to facility. So the best thing about Dropoff is they are independent like Uber Eats. So you're not having to clock into a place, a nine to five. You can pretty much work whenever you want. You don't need any special certification or licensing. All you need is a car, a valid driver's license, auto insurance, and you're ready to hit the road. So I'm gonna walk you through on how to actually sign up with Dropoff. You're gonna to go to Google and type in drop off. And you're gonna to go to the first link here. Make sure it says dropoff.com. And this is their homepage, industry leading same day delivery services. You're gonna go up to the middle of the page at the top where it says drive for us. Become a courier with drop off. Make your own schedule and deliver for some of the greatest enterprise businesses in the world. All right, so you're gonna click sign up to drive and it's gonna take you to this career page right here. And one thing you'll notice is you'll see these DOT driver contract positions. So if you do have DOT certification, I highly recommend applying to these positions because they'll pay you more. So we're gonna go to just a normal position that doesn't require any certification. I'm gonna click Sacramento. And you'll see that you can actually apply here with your Indeed account. So all you would need to do is click that and then sign in and it should transfer all your stuff over like your resume and your past experiences. So let's check out some of the advantages of contracting with Dropoff. You get flexible hours, drive packages, not people, and you get to drive your own vehicle. And let's check out some of the requirements here. You have to be 21 years of age or older. You have to have solid knowledge of the city, uh, have a registered, insured, and inspected car, SUV or van less than 10 years old, a current driver's license, and a clean driving record. And you also have to be tech savvy. So that, all that means is you just have to be comfortable using smartphones. So let's check out the application itself. They're asking for your name, your email address, your phone, your address, all that good stuff. Um, what kind of vehicle that you're driving, uh, how old is your car, what type of phone you have, are you able to lift and carry at least 50 pounds, and then you're going to put in what type of week you're able to provide service. And this isn't like a definitive schedule. This is just something that they want to know on their end so they can kind of plan around what type of work that you're able to provide. So they're also going to be asking some drivers to be drug tested, and this is mostly because of the actual client and not drop off itself. So the actual client like Quest Diagnostics or LabCorp, they're gonna be asking you to be drug tested in some states. Again, this varies state by state. So some of them won't and some of them will. So this will just something that they're asking, would you be willing to submit a drug test? Um, they're also asking, are you willing to be HIPAA and blood pathogen certified? I've taken that bloodborne pathogen certification and it's super easy. And the HIPAA certification is just going over handling patient related documents. So you'll need to finish all of this. And once you submit your application, I recommend following up with the region office that's in your area and making sure that they receive that application. So let's talk about some tips on how to actually become a successful driver on this platform because it's very similar to on DoorDash or Uber Eats to where you have to be punctual, you have to be professional, and those are going to be the main drivers on whether or not people will hire you 
or re-accept your job on drop off. And the main reason why you wanna be punctual and reliable is generally these medical specimens are only good for a couple of hours, give or take what kind of specimen it is, but you wanna be super punctual because that could be someone's life in your hands right there. You know, that could be a cancer screening, that could be a biopsy. You just never know what kind of specimen that is. So you just wanna be as professional and as punctual as possible in order to get reoccurring business. My next tip that I'm gonna tell you guys is you wanna optimize your GPS routes. So it doesn't make sense to drive all the way across town to pick up a specimen and then accept an order all the way on the other side of town. You're gonna to wanna to plan these out a little bit more smart and strategically. So that way you're not spending extra money on gas and that's more money in your pockets. So to sum up everything, Dropbox is an amazing opportunity to get started delivering medical supplies as a courier. This is probably gonna be the next step up from Uber Eats or DoorDash. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a bigger income and also a step up as far as professionalism, I would highly recommend looking into this. I know a lot of people are currently doing DoorDash and Uber Eats and Uber and Lyft. So this will be a great option for people that already know the city layout and already know how to maximize routes. We hope that this video has been super helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.